<coughs> we come to that point in our order of worship where we come before the Lord in prayer. As we gather this morning, I think that we need to keep the people of France in our prayers as they have undergone uh, the terrorist attacks this week. Pray for the peace and calm uh, to be found in that country. Also, let's continue to remember Jim Cooper in our prayers. He um, is still in the hospital uh, and uh, is uh, he's sort of stable, but again, again, he's still got a ways to go. So let's keep Jim in our prayers. Also, let's continue to remember Betty Fleener's brother in our prayers, Rosa Hamrick's nephew Dick in our prayers, Cat uh, McClanahan's father Jerry. Let's also remember Nancy Kilgore's sister Wilma in our prayers. What else do we need to lift up in prayer this morning? We've been praying for David Burke for quite a while and my grandson's dad. Mm -hmm. No cancer. All right. David Burke, who we've been praying for, has no cancer, so we're going to rejoice in that. What else? So keep Robert in your prayer. So he has shingles. So let's keep praying for him. What else? Um, Nancy Kilgore had cataract surgery this past week, but she's doing great. Okay. I remember her. So Nancy Kilgore had some cataract surgery. Doing okay. Debbie's mom had cataract surgery too, didn't she? Okay, anything else we need to lift up? Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> Most holy God, we just give you thanks that we can come to you this morning, that we can lift up in prayer the, the people of France and the, the terror and the disquiet that seems to be gripping their country this week. And we ask that your spirit would move in that country, that you would begin to draw people back to you, that you would begin to help them feel your spirit's presence in their lives. Give them the peace that they need in their time of disquiet and help them to find strength to deal with the losses and to rebuild from, from these attacks. We also lift up those folks that are a lot closer home to us, our friends that we have been praying for, and we bring them before your throne of grace. We know that you are active in our lives. We know that your spirit is always present with us. Sometimes, though, we have a difficult time feeling Sometimes we wonder and we just realize that maybe you don't seem as close as you used to. Help us to understand that in those times that perhaps it's not you that has moved, but rather it's us that, has, that have cut ourselves off from you. Bring us back to you, most gracious God. Bring us back into your word. Bring us back into... Uh, communion with you through prayer. Help us as your people to, to recognize the needs around us and, and to reach out in service and feed the hungry. And help us to do the things that would indeed inspire us to become even more devout in our devotion to you. We ask all these things in the name of Christ who has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.